Ticker tape parade for the World Series champions, New York Yankees, the first time in 18 years. You guys ready? From their new CD, Keys to Ascension, if you're all set, for the first time also in 18 years on live television, give it up for yes! Yes! A dream to me now. It took me four days to hitchhike from Saginaw. All come to look for America. All come to look for America. <laughs> Laughing on the bus. Playing games with the faces. She said the man in the gabardine suit was a spy. I said, be careful, his bow tie is really a camera. Yes, song. Don't Don't 
you have to go do a show, right? I know, I gotta do a show, but eat your heart out, Chunkster. Guess is here and you're not. Thanks, Warren. It's a big day in New York City. For the first time in 18 years, the Yankees have a ticker tape parade later. We take a show of ticker tape land how it's getting itself ready for the Yankees parade. Let's take a shot of that if we can. That's the scene where later the World Series champs, New York Yankees, will have an incredible ovation here in New York. And while the crowd here gets a little encore performance from, yes, and I'm going to bask in it for you. Back up to you in the apartment. All right, thank you very much. We can actually hear it through the windows up here in the apartment. What a fantastic oh, yeah. performance uh. that was. And I'll bet you he's sorry he missed it. Phil Kogan, I actually, I hope Phil, you didn't miss it. You're spending your week in the Detroit area of Michigan. Did you get a chance to see the concert? Absolutely. It was amazing. We have some fans out here, so we were watching Oh, it. that's true. All I can say about yes is yes. yes. <laughs> and we got it. Good for amazing. you. Amazing. A hungry band yeah. after performing, sharing food at our uh, dining room table. Could we give it up one more time for yes? Yes. 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 Sit back, just relax, enjoy a well-earned meal, even Thank with the you. puppet hovering over your shoulder. Owner of, not, they're the owners of the lonely puppet. <laughs> yeah. if, if you're just tuning in, now is our segment on the pain of uh, dandruff, eczema, and psoriasis. <laughs> welcome. You're welcome to stay, have some breakfast with yes. Yeah. Oh, All right? I, I, how can I say anything but? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Send her to me. Lauren Swift. Yeah. Thank you, Sharon. Pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. It really is. Hey, Lauren? Can you believe this apartment? It's filling up I with... Love it. People, photographers, uh, people with the band, people who aren't with the band. Road warriors. <laughs> Road warriors. <laughs> Suzanne Wong. Hey. The best. After the break, Dr. Lillian Beard is going to tell us how we can keep our kids safe this Halloween with some basic tips, and we're going to share them with you. Please stay hey, with Doc. us. Yes, all yeah. sit around. Dr. Lillian Beard. Can I, yep. they, see, this is live. We don't we don't stop tape and then say, well, we'll come back when the seats are all arranged. Oh no. no this oh, is no. it. Right, when the here, music here stops, whoever's standing is out. That's right. <laughs> Which would have been me about 30 seconds ago. We are happy to welcome Dr. Lillian Beard. She comes to us directly, and Eat let me get this right from the American Academy of Pediatrics in Boston. That's right. Where you guys were talking about Halloween. Well, we were talking about all kinds of safety things, but Halloween is really special. Yeah. Kids love it because it's the one time yeah. when it's magical for them they can at that point use their imagination and imagine themselves being in and out of some pretty scary situations yeah. can I see a show of hands who are parents at the oh, table yes. oh, yeah. so all, obviously Halloween is always a, a I'm not even a kid John, right <laughs> <laughs> and it's one of it's one of those days that parents can really plan for and what right. the American Academy of Pediatrics has done is to come out with a tip guide for parents to try to keep those little ghosts and goblins extra safe that There night. are about, what, five tips on things that uh, Well, there are many tips, do. but we'll sort of focus on things that deal with masks okay. and Yeah, but let's go with costumes first, you. because that's okay. one of the most important. What I think it, don't what dress as Barney is probably the first thing. <laughs> well, oh, actually, oh, actually, I'm actually, sick of it. I'm sick of it. <laughs> it looks like a safe <laughs> costume. No, but this is, this is a very good costume, this particular Barney costume, because it comes with a package that is marked flame retardant. Okay. And that's and what, you, that's what you really want to look for when you're getting costumes. And you want to put reflective tape on because when they're out after dark, you want to be sure they're not going to have mishaps with automobiles. Right. So this is a good one. With costumes, you also want to make certain that they fit properly. If they're too long or too big, the kids can trip over them. And we have a lot of fall injuries. Yeah. Now, these are masks. That yes. You don't recommend these, do you? Well, actually, Lori, this one is not too bad. <laughs> Works because, on you. Because <laughs> <laughs> and it's Jason. Actually, this one is not too bad because of the points in the star you can see around the edges, but if you take one like this and you see the eyes are really small and the nose is really small, kids can't see oh, that's bad. and they can't yeah. breathe. Yeah. So if you have a mask, yeah, but, yeah, <laughs> nose is wet if you and cold. have one like that, parents can actually cut the holes, make the openings larger so that the kids can see around them, make the nose part so they can actually breathe. Dr. Beard, shouldn't parents be going out with the kids wherever possible? They absolutely should. Yeah. In fact, I suggest that parents set boundaries, maybe limit it to your block, to your building, to your neighborhood, so that your neighbors know that your kids are coming and their treats are likely to be safer treats. Yeah. Talking about treats. Oh, boy. This is a this big, is the kind of thing you get. big area for hazards. Dig in, guys. Yeah. <laughs> That's my stuff, Doc. <laughs> there, there are really some pretty good treats here. I mean, you really 
really want to be sure that you have that you get the bite size individually wrapped. Uh, when you have the loose candies, they're a hazard, especially those that are this side. Oh, yeah. Will be so make choking sure, I guess make sure things are wrapped up and that there's no puncture holes in them and stuff like that. Unfortunately, we are running out of time. I'm sorry, oh, Dr. Okay. Should we also right. mention but that for parents laser. and kids yeah. alike, have some melantha yeah. ready. Well, actually, yeah. actually well, you hope it's not going to be necessary, yeah. but if they overdo the yeah. treats and they get that up, upset stomach, then you want to give them a light diet the next day. And if you need something, get the over-the-counter children's melanta ups yeah. upset stomach. And we're today. giving our floor director yes. an upset yeah. stomach. Oh, Dr. Lillian yeah. Beard okay. with us. Thank you very much. Yes. Yes. Safe, good advice. safe face paint. Indeed. Don't forget. Tonight on mm -hmm. Fox, as you paint your face safely, Halloween's <laughs> own goosebumps uh, tonight on Fox. And also uh, the Clio Awards. We'll be back to hand out the candy awards to Yes and our other guests, yeah. Sharon Lawrence, Dr. Lillian Beard, <laughs> when Fox After Breakfast continues.